For many, Barbie brings up happy and cheerful memories. While the film has lots of childhood nostalgia, it also asks some forward-thinking questions, many of them posed by Gloria, played by America Ferreira. As she's contemplating some of life's big choices, she takes on a bright and bumpy adventure to try to restore balance in the Barbie world. I sat down with Ferreira to talk about her role, Latino representation, and the film she believes should have landed her an Oscar nomination decades ago. Oscar nominee for Best Supporting Actress, America Ferreira, has a ring to it, right? It's still very surreal to hear out loud, yeah. You said, actually, after the movie wrapped, that you felt like it would change the world. Has it, Barbie, impacted the movement, if you will? Has it met your expectations? I think it's fully surpassed them, yeah. I mean, when I first read the script, I was just so giddy with how it subverted anyone's expectations of what a Barbie movie might be or try to be. And, um, and as we were making it, it felt super special. I love rollerblades. Where are we going? Barbie land. What? Mom, are you really going to let Barbie take you and your tween daughter to an imaginary land? Yes, and you want to know why? Because I never get to do anything. I didn't even go on that cruise I won at your school raffle because I didn't have enough vacation days and your dad's allergic to sun. Oh. I could have never known every record and history-making moment that this movie would be a part of. And, and more importantly, you know, the kind of global impact on the audiences and how many conversations it's created. And give us a sense of this moment, because you've talked before about being the Latina actress who finally gets invited to the party. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, I think that uh, it's very uh, clear that, that there's been very limited participation from Latina and Latino actors and actresses at the Academy Awards in all categories. And that's about the opportunities that exist, right? You can't win awards for roles and opportunities that don't exist. Hello? Hmm? Humans. We're fine. Oh. This is a character that is pivotal to the story, has so much to do, and none of the reasons that she's in the movie is to be a Latina and to check a box and to be a body type or an ethnicity. That, to me, is a distinction, that we get to exist as full and complicated and dimensional humans. Tell us about the monologue. Two minutes, 17 seconds, it starts with, it is literally impossible to be a woman. It is literally impossible to be a woman. You are so beautiful and so smart, and it kills me that you don't think you're good enough. Like, we have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing it wrong. How did that come about? When Greta sent the script, she had written to me and said, we wrote this, your voice has been in my head all this time. There's this monologue that I am calling Gloria's aria. So I went into it knowing that like, okay, Gloria has this moment that really has to work for a lot of it to then unfold. On some level, many have talked about the nostalgia of the movie and Barbie, but growing up, I read that you didn't actually have Barbie dolls. No, I, I didn't. I didn't have Barbie dolls and I didn't really play with Barbie dolls. We couldn't afford them. I didn't really feel like represented in that world. I never imagined in my life that I would be in a Barbie movie or that I would care about a Barbie movie, but they did it. It wasn't a movie for little girls playing with Barbie dolls. It was for all of us, men, women, young, old, around the world. Tell us about that moment that you found out that you were nominated, because I know you actually reenacted it. <laughs> I did. I was home alone in my pajamas in bed, lying down with my little phone, watching it. I didn't even scream out loud. I sort of like, I gasped. And it didn't feel real. And then my phone started blowing up. And then I was like, I think it's real. I think it actually happened. And my husband called me from the car and he was screaming. And then my kids were screaming. Why are you screaming? It was, it was chaos, but it was happy chaos. And just lastly, just two quick uh, lightning round questions. Your first paid acting job. My first paid acting job where I was cast in a role was uh, the Disney Channel movie, Gotta Kick It Up. I played Yolanda on a junior high drill team. The first role you had when you knew, I'm gonna really do this. I think it was, I think it was Gotta Kick It Up. I mean, I was, I was pretty sure I would be nominated for an Academy Award for Gotta Kick It Even Up. Even back then. Yeah. <laughs> I was really disappointed in the Academy to learn that they didn't consider 
Disney Channel movies. So, you know, 17-year-old America is wondering what took so long. Yes. But it was a surprise. It was a shock to learn that I wasn't going to be considered. <laughs> All right, thank you yeah, so much yeah. for your time, America. Such a joy to talk to her. Be sure to catch our brand new special Road to the Oscars featuring all of our conversations with the 2024 Oscar nominees tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC News Live and also streaming on Hulu. Also, be sure to tune in to Countdown to the Oscars on the Red Carpet Live with Johnson and I will be hosting featuring the biggest stars and nominees. That is Sunday, March 10th. Coverage begins at 1 p.m. Eastern once again here on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.